Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a crook review YouTuber that's trying to be a long nobody. And today it's the second day in my 13 days of red. And if you don't know what that is, I'm doing a little mini series here on my channel this December where I'm spelling Merry Christmas with the palettes I'm using. So the video before this in this area, it was the start and I used Meet Me in the Underworld from Luz Cosmetics and today it is an E and the palette I'm using today is actually an oldie and that is the Kaleidos Futurism 5 that is Electro Turquoise and I still haven't decided what I want to do today but this palette I if I'm going to be honest, I have some troubles to know like what I want to do because for me it feels like this is a one look palette, like I don't know what to do. I have done a lot of teal shades, teal shades, teals looks with this, but like more than that I have no idea what I want to do and it feels like I'm just doing the same look over and over again and I'm like why am I using this palette? And I have no idea, but I'm going to do it today. And um, it has two shimmers and this four mattes. And I don't know what the brown is doing in this palette. I wish it was maybe one more shimmer or that it was maybe some more orangey thingy, or, but just not the brown. And I don't know if it's the brown that messes things up for me or if it is the orange. I have actually no idea, but maybe I should try to do some, oh, I don't know. Why did I choose you? Why did I pick you? I guess that I should have one more palette, that's an E. <laughs> um, but okay. And I was like, maybe I should do a palette bingo, but like a palette bingo with only six colors. That is a little bit odd, I think. So, you maybe I should have watched some videos or people using this. I think though I want to do <laughs> know what is lipstick that I'm going to use with it, which is kind of odd maybe because I haven't decided what I want to do for makeup look, but... Uh, you know what, I'm going to prime my eyes and we going to see if this makes me any smarter, any clearer or like what, if it helps me, what I want to do. So maybe I should just do the obvious just to have a look and the obvious for me with this palette, crease, outer corner and shimmer on my lid. And I guess that I've done that look before with this palette but you know what, I don't give a damn. That is what I'm going to do. And today I am actually going to talk a little bit about um, plans that I had for this year and also like plans that I want to do for next year. And I did... Maybe I should have watched that video before I was going to start this, but I'm not going to do that. But I do not have any like New Year's resolution anymore and I haven't had it for quite some while now because um, I don't want it to put super much pressure on me to have like, yeah, you need to do this, this and this or else you're going to like fail. I don't think that is good for you to have like too many new year's resolution and like things that can be like if you don't succeed on this it's bad one thing that i wanted this year that i thought i did get read with me about that that was um that i wanted to go vegan and you have like a uh, maybe the backstory if um, you're new here or if you haven't heard me talk about this First of all, if you want to eat meat, I couldn't care less. I, you do you and I do me. And I don't want to have like any discussion, discussion about vegan things because that is my choice and I don't think you should criticize me for that. 
and I do not criticize you for eating meat, whatever you do, you do whatever you feel like. And I have been, what is it even called? Is it the pescatarian? No. In Sweden it is, okay, maybe I should take it, take you back to when I was 11. When I was 11. I saw a TV program about animal transports and I cried and I cried and I cried. And from that day on I told my mom that I don't want to eat meat anymore. And um, she, because I, yeah, I was only 11 and um, she was like... First, I think she said no, but then she was like, okay, you don't need, it's okay if you don't eat meat, but I want you to eat fish, and uh, I was fine with that, so I did eat fish, drink milk, and ate eggs, and it was like that for a long, long time, I can't rem I stopped eating fish, I don't know, can it be seven years ago, maybe? Maybe more. I had stopped so many things in my life. But I stopped eating fish, I think it was around, yeah, five or seven years ago, somewhere around that. And I stopped eating fish, and the thing that was easy with that was that my boyfriend did do not eat fish, so we like, it wasn't that... Yeah, my boyfriend eats everything. He, he is so far from a vegan, vegan vegan that you can be. But he doesn't like fish, so it was just me eating fish some time to time. So that wasn't that hard to like quit eating fish. The only thing is, it's very convenient to eat fish. If you don't eat meat or chicken, it's easy if you eat, still eat fish because it doesn't... It It's, it's no like... It's not strange. And like all restaurants always have a fish option. I would say. Um, so yeah, I stopped eating fish. I still ate um, cheese and uh, eggs and uh, milk. And then I have been like... The last... This brush was so too big for this. Uh, the last... What can it be? Two years or three years maybe? I have been eating more and more vegan food. I have never called myself a vegan and if I'm going to be honest I still don't call myself a vegan because I don't know I just I, I, I don't do it even though I think I count as a vegan but yeah so I've been eating vegan from time to time, but like if there hasn't been any vegan option, I have been eating maybe fish or cheese or something. But then I think it was last year I had um there is this thing or this challenge that you are going to eat vegan for a month, and that is in January. And I did it last year, but then I started to, yeah. At home I usually ate vegan, but sometimes when we were away I didn't eat vegan. But in the end of last year I decided, okay, 2022 I'm going to try to eat vegan. Only vegan foods, and I have done it this year. I haven't slipped up by purpose. Um, I might have been eating um, honey at one time, I think. It wasn't like... I didn't know it when I ate it, but then I did realize it was honey. I think it was the chocolate I ate. Uh, even though I know that some vegans do think that honey is okay, I don't know where I stand with that. But yeah, other than that, I've been eating vegan this whole year and 
I... The hardest thing. How did I come to this? I was going to talk about New Year's res resolutions. But yeah, the hardest thing has been quitting uh, cheese. Uh, I have always loved cheese. And you know, feta cheese, halloumi, all these other cheeses out there. I have always loved cheese. And vegan cheese isn't the best cheese in the world. But... <sighs> this is going to sound so bad. At one point you stop remembering how different food tastes. Like, that is always so strange when I'm eating like something like vegan meat substitute and people are like, is it taste like meat? And I'm like, I haven't been eating meat for over 20 years. I have no idea. I can't remember how it tastes. Like, I have no freaking clue. Cheese though, <laughs> that I can remember. But now, like I think it was a month ago, I was really like, I think I do like this vegan cheese and I don't know when that happened. Maybe I have forgotten how good normal cheese is, but yeah. I do like vegan cheese now. It's not the same as, like, I do not get cravings for vegan cheese. But like, if we're going to eat pizza, I'm like looking forward to the cheese thing and... On like a sandwich. I don't mind it, I'm not on a burger, and that I know I did in the beginning. And you know what, this teal is not that good. I don't know if it is my eyeshadow base, or if it is this shade, but it's really, really patchy. I guess it's my freaking eyeshadow base. It's driving me crazy! I don't know if you can see the patchiness on this eye. And I also start to like oat milk that I did not. I always been a soy milk kind of girl. Um, but I bought oat milk. It's not as expensive as soy milk. And I bought oat milk and I was like, this tastes kind of good. So I am going to keep eating vegan. I still don't want to call myself a vegan. I, I don't know why. I don't think that it's like that important for me. I always do it if I am going to um, go out and eat. I like have to say that yeah, I'm a vegan so I can have <laughs> vegan food. And uh, yeah, I'm going to use my glitter primer. And I'm going in with this shimmer shade. So I'm going to do a half cut crease, maybe a whole cut crease. We will see. And if somebody asks, and uh, I, I say that I am vegan, but like, it's not that important for me. And I think I do like it. The thing why I wanted to start to eat more vegan is that I thought it was, for me it felt strange to not like eating meat but still drinking milk and eating cheese. So I just decided and uh, I, I, I think I like it and like the vegan market. In Sweden it's getting bigger and bigger, like it's easier and easier to eat vegan. I remember when I became a vegetarian and stopped eating meat, there wasn't that many options. But it is just getting bigger and bigger and I guess that more people are going to a meat free life or at least cut down on the meat. But yeah, so even though I eat <laughs> only vegan right now. I do not see myself as a vegan and I don't know why. 
I think it's just not that important to me. And I love how I was like, I'm going to talk about my new, res new years and things I want to do. And then we came to this. I guess that is just how it happens on my channel. So maybe I should just name this video. How has my vegan year been? It has been kind of good. Okay, do you know what? I'm going crazy with this patchy shit out here. So I actually think that I will go in with the brown to see if that is going to help like a single bit. I really do hope so because I don't, because I don't like this patchiness. Oh, this was so deep. I did take so much. Am I fucking this eye makeup up? Yeah, I think I do. Poopily, poopily, poopily. Okay, something is not good out here. Nothing is sticking out here. I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if I'm getting close. I think it's too light. But it's like I have no eyeshadow left out here. It likes now and when I try to blend it, it's just disappearing. <sighs> I hate when this happens. Like I was like, this is going kind of good. I do like this half cut crease I did. But now, I don't know if you can see, like it's only sticking on my little bit on the shimmer. But you see now, it's all gone. Like nothing left. And I don't know if it is the palette. Like I don't know if it is the palette that is the problem or if it is my eyeshadow base. I guess it's my eyeshadow base because I don't like it. I love it on shimmer shades. Matte shades. Yeah, you see. And like I can like understand that uh, a teal might be like this. But like when a brown is just not sticking at all. Something is a little bit odd. But I feel like if we do like this if we do we half get crease and have like shimmers everywhere and then I'm going in with the teal shade again. Can we maybe save this? Is it maybe good for me to sometimes fuck things up? I like that I have like a cut up here in my cut crease. You've missed the little spot. Do you know what now? Like I'm having shimmer all over everything. Okay, I think that this is better. It's still not super good, but I think this is better. So I just think that I'm going to do this off cam the other eye. We will see. This doesn't look like a disaster, but it's not what I wanted. So I will cut this whole crease, put on the matte teal uh, over the shimmer. Fix my base and my brows and then we're going to put the lipstick on together and I know which lipstick I want. See, I see you soon. Only the lipstick left and I'm taking out my little lipstick bag and I know which one I'm going with and it is Kitten Heels from NYX Cosmetics. I love to have this with like blue and teal shades looks. Now I have cat hair on my nose. Because <laughs> I think this is such a bright, fun red that just goes amazing with blue. I don't know why, I just, I used it one time, I think, and then I couldn't, like, stop it. So I'm going to take this today. Okay. 
and this is their liquid suede, I don't know if I said it, and these are kind of old, like they, they came out a couple of years ago, I know they were kind of popular then, but now I do not hear anybody talk about them, I don't know if they still have these, but these are actually really good, I have had like five of them or something, and okay, for my face I did use my contour stick from Isadora, my Melt Bust Skill, the blush side, and Ozone from Nabla, and for my wash line I did use a Big Splash, I think it is. Yeah, big Splash from Colourpop, and okay. Am I in love with this look? No, I'm not. Is it what I wanted? No, it's not. I don't like to do full cut creases. I don't think, maybe I'm not good at it, but I don't think it suits like my eye shape, my hooded eyes, so I don't like it because of that. But I don't know, because I'm using this eyeshadow base, I've talked about this before. It is something about it, like all the reviews I read on this, people just love it so, so much. I do not, and I don't know if it's me, like if this is not fitting for me. Sometimes it works kind of good and the eyeshadow holds up for a couple of hours, but sometimes it gets like it was today, like nothing sticks. Like it doesn't, the matte shadows doesn't stick. The shimmers do look amazing, but it is something with this one that I, we are not super friends, you and I. But okay, this is my second part in my little Christmas series, and the next palette is going to be with an R. And I did realize that I had a problem because it's it's free R's, and uh, if if you just look in your collection, you will see there is a lot of palettes that starts on the same letter and. Some letters are harder than others. But okay, that was all for this video and I, I'm sorry if this turned out to get rid of me, me talking about being uh, eating vegan. That wasn't my plan, maybe I have to talk about New Year's resolution and New Year's thing in another video. But I do hope that you like this video and I hope that you are liking my little series. I'm not looking forward to the next palette. <laughs> Maybe a little, I don't know. But yeah, I do really hope that you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!